Yesterday, you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, the Nightman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 37 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out front.
chooses to go from here. Got the end. into the books as a first round win by knockout near perfect execution the technique was absolutely gorgeous and again when you catch a guy early maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at one minute, two seconds of the very first round. He's playing the winner by knockout and new. to get that first UFC belt and become a champion. That is his reality here tonight in the world order here at 170 pounds. You've watched this guy over the course of his career carry this chip on his shoulder. Now you can watch him take a breath because now you've accomplished the ultimate goal of becoming the UFC champion. Congratulations. Picture this, huh? I mean, I always knew you were something special, but, but this, this is next level. Only a handful of fighters have become double champs in the UFC. Some very rare company. And Todd, good. All right, at the end of the night, though, remember, it's just a fight. Stay focused on the task at hand. We can worry about finding more trophy space in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's go. Good. That's it. All right, the super fight is finally here. The UFC champion in all his glory trying to become a simultaneous two division champion here tonight. This is a lofty, lofty perch. Few men or women have been on it. Let's see if he can complete his mission here tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Weidman is 17 years his senior. The rest of the numbers are effectively identical. All right, here now the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live 
from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, the Nightmare. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Chris Weidman! All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners. Are you ready? Let's see if he can get off to a good start here. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. He set it inside the octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and... Nightmare. Well, you can add his name to the list of the greatest fighters in UFC history, a future Hall of Famer as he becomes a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Some suggested maybe he was biting off more than he can chew. The naysayers are eating crow right now. You are staring at a two-division UFC champion. Our most sincere congratulations. I'm the realest one that's repping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God.